Define beauty. Define beauty. Define beauty. 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 Define beauty. What is beauty? What is beauty? It's confidence. Confidence. It's intelligence. It's compassion. It's strength. 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 It's power. It's fitness. It's harmony. Harmony. It's adventurous. It's adventurous. It's integrity. It's caring. It's tenacious. It's wisdom. It's diversity. Diversity. It's competitive. It's freedom. It's dedication. It's fearless. 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 So what is beauty? So what is beauty? She's Miss USA. She's Miss USA. She's Miss USA. The most stunning women in the country. A competition for the ultimate title. Only one will win the crown. This is the night they've all been waiting for. And you've got the best seat in the house. Live from Las Vegas, home of the MGM Grand and the new T-Mobile Arena. This is Miss USA 2016 with hosts Terrence J and Julianne Huff and live reports by Ashley Graham. Featuring performances by Nervo, Chris Young and Backstreet Boys. The nation's most confidently beautiful women competing for the Miss USA crown. Welcome, Terrence J and Julianne Hoff. Las Vegas, make some noise. Wow, you guys are amazing. Welcome to Miss USA 2016. Tonight, one incredible woman is going to walk away with the crown. These contestants all dominated their home state competitions, and it all comes down to this. A chance to become the next Miss USA, right here, right now, live on this stage. Yeah, it's about to get crazy in here, but before we talk about them, I gotta talk about you. Look at this dress, y'all give it up for this dress. Looking, looking like a diamond walking down that runway. Oh, thank you so much, Terrence. Thank you. <clears throat> that was when you could have said something about my, my suit. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look all right. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Can we all give it up for Terrence? <laughs> the only man on this stage tonight looking so good. Oh, yeah. Well, now I can tell you we are in for one exciting competition because I've had a chance to meet all of the contestants from a PhD candidate to an army commander to a deputy of chief of staff, just to name a few. And these women are all extraordinary. Yes, they are. And speaking of extraordinary, here's someone who's inspired women all over the world. This year's Sports Illustrated swimsuit cover model, activist, and entrepreneur, Ashley Graham. What's up? Thanks, guys. All night, I'm going to keep you informed backstage and behind the scenes. I have access to all the data and inside information, detailed live voting stats, social media chatter, and decide what the judges are looking for, and up close and personal interviews with the contestants. Thank you so much, Ashley. Now, for the first time ever, we've added an extra contestant chosen exclusively by the fans at home. That's huge. We'll have more on that later. But right now, are you all ready to meet your Miss USA contestants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, let's kick things off with the red hot DJ duo from Down Under, EDM superstars, Nervo. <laughs>
USA title once, but has made it to the top three ten times. Before Alaska was officially a state, the Alaskan title holder used to advance directly to Miss Universe. Chelsea Myers, Arizona! The Miss Arizona USA pageant was the very first pageant Chelsea ever entered. I can't break away. Abby Floyd, Arkansas! Arkansas has only won Miss USA once in 1982. From your touch, Nadia Mejia, California! Nadia is the daughter of 90s rapper Gerardo, best known for his hit song, Rico Suave. Haley Ray Pavillard, Colorado! Haley Ray is a social entrepreneur whose line of jewelry benefits at-risk refugees. Connecticut took home its only Miss USA crown in 2013. Alexandra Barnsova, Delaware. One of the first beauty pageants in the US was held in Delaware in 1880. Deshaun of Harvard, District of Columbia. Deshauna is a U.S. Army Reserve commander whose mom, dad, brother, and sister all serve. Free Gabrielle, Florida! Florida has made it to the top 10 five times since 2004. Fortune's Vanna White once competed for the title of Miss Georgia USA. Chelsea Harden, Hawaii! Chelsea is a four-time junior Olympian in volleyball. Adopted out of foster care and is an advocate for foster kids across the country. Zaina Malik, Illinois. Zaina is a first generation American whose parents were born in Lebanon. Morgan Abel, Indiana. Indiana has placed in the top 10 nine times, but has never taken home the crown. Alyssa Morrison, Iowa! At the age of seven, Alyssa started a nonprofit business raising funds for the Humane Society. Victoria Wiggins, Kansas! Victoria works as a fashion merchandiser and is preparing to open her own boutique. Kentucky won its only Miss USA title in 2006. Malia Papillon, Louisiana! After struggling with childhood obesity, Malia entered the pageant world to boost her self confidence. Marissa tagged sharks for a conservation study grabbing them by the tails and pulling them to the beach. Christina Denny, Maryland. Maryland is hoping to make it to the final 15 for a sixth straight year. Whitney Sharp, Massachusetts. Whitney was named one of Boston's top 15 most fashionable. Born to European immigrants, Susie speaks fluent Polish and Romanian. Bridget Jacobs, Minnesota! The 
The last time Minnesota made it to the final five was in 2002. Haley Sowers, Mississippi. Haley was an NFL cheerleader with the Tennessee Titans last season. Missouri has placed in the top five nine times, winning in 2004. Sabon Doxy Montana! Sabon started the first girls rugby team at her high school and won the state championship. journalism degree and hosted her own trivia show. Evelina Adams, Nevada! Nevada has won Miss USA only once in 2014. Jessica Strong, New Hampshire! Jessica works in food service management while also performing as a New England Patriots cheerleader. Jessie Lynn Palumbo, New Jersey! Jessie Lynn is a nationally published photographer who dreams of shooting a cover for Vogue one day. Naomi Germain, New Mexico! Naomi competed in her first pageant just last year. Serena Bujai, New York! New York has won the Miss USA crown four times, the last in 1999. To show off her creativity, Devin creates healthy cooking recipes and designs her own earrings. Callie Moss, North Dakota! Callie is a nursing student and plans to open an outreach center for children affected by drugs and alcohol. Megan White, Ohio! Megan! has a master's degree in education and is a first grade teacher. Taylor Gordon, Oklahoma. Oklahoma won its first ever Miss USA title last year. Natriana Shorter, Oregon. Natriana implemented a program for teens to combat peer pressure in schools across Oregon. Elena LaQuatra, Pennsylvania! Elena lost her hearing at four years old, but successfully regained it thanks to a cochlear implant. This first generation American is Deputy Chief of Staff for the Mayor of Providence. Leah Lawson, South Carolina. An aspiring singer, Leah got a golden ticket on season 14 of American Idol. Madison McEwen, South Dakota. Madison hopes to be the first ever contestant from South Dakota to reach the final 10. Hope Steven, Tennessee! Hope is a fashion merchandising major and plans to be an international fashion journalist. Daniela Rodriguez, Texas! Texas has the most winners in Miss USA history with nine, the last in 2008. Teal Murdoch, Utah! Teal competed in the Miss Utah USA contest eight consecutive years before winning the title. Healing Fortune, Vermont! 
Neely is an elite endurance runner and participated in a 100-mile ultra marathon. Jesse Williams, Virginia! Virginia was the first state to win back-to-back -back titles in 1969 and 1970. Kelsey Schmidt, Washington! Kelsey is working towards her PhD in nutrition at the University of Washington. Nicole Green, West Virginia. Having finished first runner up twice, West Virginia is striving for its first ever Miss USA title. Paige Pettiker, Wisconsin. At 19, Wisconsin is one of the two youngest contestants in the pack. Autumn Olsen, Wyoming! Wyoming is vying for its first top five finish ever in the Miss USA pack. Alexandra Miller missed 52! Alexandra was a two-time first runner-up Miss Oklahoma, USA. entrance ladies well one of these outstanding women will be the next miss usa and become a part of a national institution that has been around for over 60 years so no pressure look when we come back these women will face the first elimination of the night guys who earned a spot in the final 15 we'll find out when miss usa 2016 returns Coming up, the 52 most confidently beautiful women in the country vie for the title of Miss USA. Hosted by Terrence J and Julianne Hough. With backstage reports from Ashley Graham. And featuring live performances from Nervo, Chris Young, and Backstreet Boys. All coming to you live from Las Vegas and T-Mobile Arena. This is Miss USA Live on Fox. Welcome to Miss USA 2016. I love this show. You know, people come from all over the country. Where are you from? Ohio. Ohio, where are you from? from Las Vegas. She forgot. Look, where are you from? Hawaii. Where are you from? Hawaii. Where are you from? Hawaii. 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 All right, uh, where are you guys from? I'm going to talk. Okay, Georgia. Georgia. You, okay, are you throwing up gang signs? What's happening? Come on. Come on. Don't, don't hurt anybody. All right, we're having a lot of fun. People are from all over. You'll get a chance to vote later. Julianne, what's happening on stage? Uh, well, Terrence, I'm just thinking how hard it's going to be for the judges to choose just one of these 52 women. Yes, you heard that right. For the first time in Miss USA history, we have a 52nd contestant chosen by the fans. And, and Ashley's gonna tell us more about her and how she arrived here. 
That's right, Julianne. Women all over the country submitted photos and videos on social media in the hopes of joining and completing this competition. Based on creativity, personality, web interviews, judges selected the 10 best from all walks of life. Then fans from all over the country voted for their favorites and selected our very first Miss 52 USA. Tuesday night of last week, I got the phone call and I just started crying because I was so excited. And then the whirlwind began. The next three days, we're trying to figure out what I'm going to pack and bring to Miss USA. It's very surreal. It's, it's a pretty big dream and it's pretty joyful to be here. I'm very honored and excited to be the first Miss 52, so it's exciting. I, I fully accept being called 52. I'm, I'm totally okay with it. <laughs> ago, a preliminary competition was held here at T-Mobile Arena. The purpose was to evaluate all 52 contestants and narrow down the field to the top 15. Mm -hmm. The preliminary judges, members of the Miss Universe organization, and the fans at home made their choices based on performances in the swimsuit competition, the evening gown competition, and responses to the interview questions. Well, let's take a look and see how it all went down, shall we? I feel so excited. I'm finally here at Miss USA. Hi, Snapchats. I've wanted to be here since watching Miss USA as a little girl. This hotel is the size of the town I'm from. It took me six years to get here, and I never gave up. It's really like a sisterhood, like cheerleading camp. Listen, ladies, no phones on stage. Prepping for pageantry is exactly like prepping for the final game. How many bandies do you have on? I have one. You need more. There's fittings, photo shoots, appearances. It's nonstop. Welcome to choreography. Today, we actually feel like we're competing for Miss USA. Nerves can undo all the hard work I've put in so far. It hurts a little bit. <laughs> it just got real, real, real quick, didn't it? We all want the same thing. Get on your spot. This is a national stage. There is a lot of pressure. My palms are going to be sweaty. My heart's going to be racing. Let's do this. My strategy is to leave it all on the stage. You've got to nail swimsuit, evening gown, and interview in order to get to the top 15. Judges, judges, judges. Don't look at them 15 times. Look at them one time, but look into their soul, OK? The best in the country are here to compete. You're interviewing for a job. I am here to win. I am ready to be Miss USA. I can't believe this is happening. It's go time. I just want to say, this is such an amazing experience for these women. They're learning so much about themselves. I'm really, really happy for these young women. The prelims helped to narrow down the field, and now it's time to announce our final 15 contestants. Let's get to it. First in the final 15. South Carolina. I knew singing was gonna be my passion when I would get on stage and I didn't care who was listening or if nobody was there. I was having a good time on that stage with my microphone. When I competed on American Idol, I never thought that I could be a musician. But it took being on that show for me to realize that, wow, I could really do this for a living. I'm a huge daddy's girl. My dad is a high school football coach. I like to say that my life was kind of like a combination of Remember the Titans and Friday Night Lights. So I was always on the field with coach and riding the bus to the game. Touchdown! South Carolina. Next to advance. Ohio. <laughs> T 
She's nice, she's beautiful, and she's a great teacher. Beautiful, nice, and she always dressed up pretty every day for school. When I first started college, I didn't know that I wanted to be a teacher. I thought that I wanted to go into the medical field, and turns out when I started doing hours in the hospital, I found out that I fainted at the sight of everything. So I had to change my major. One day, when I was watching a daycare come through the workplace where I was, and I thought, you know, this is something that I really wanted to do. I have been a first grade teacher for four years. They put a smile on my face every single day, and I'm doing what I love. Proudly repping her state. Georgia. My family is amazing. They were my number one supporters before I had friends or anything else like that. Mommy. Uh, always kept us laughing all the time, from the time she woke up in the morning to till it was time to go to bed. I remember this picture and one of her five uh, lip glosses that she carried around. I think she used all five. Sometimes she couldn't figure out which flavor she wanted to go with. So I, I think this one is bacon grease. To have them always having my back means a lot to me. They've always pushed me to be the best person I am, and to give back to them would be the greatest thing in the world for me. Georgia. Still in the competition. Arizona. So this is Kona Bear. He's pretty much my best friend. When I registered him to be my emotional support dog, I never would have thought that just being able to have my dog with me all the time would change my life, but it's been amazing. I started experiencing anxiety when I was about 18 or 19. It's almost like an overwhelming of every emotion at once, and you're just stuck, and you can't find your way out of it. Anxiety and depression is not something you can always control, and I don't think people know that, so if there's anything I can do to make sure that anyone in the world doesn't have that feeling, I would love to do it. Arizona. Making the cut. Alabama. Basketball really became my thing. Won a few state championships in basketball. Ended up being all state in basketball. It was senior night at my high school. They were revealing my thousand point banner and all I did was pivot. My left knee just completely gave out. I tore my knee on a Tuesday night and that upcoming Friday, I was supposed to be competing for Miss Alabama Teen USA 2012. I was able to go to the pageant in a huge ugly knee brace, which is no accessory any girl ever wants to wear. And so then I ended up winning. So as bad as my knee injury was, I wasn't gonna let not having an ACL keep me from, <laughs> from competing. I'm too competitive for that. Sweet home Alabama. Moving forward. West Virginia. My mom had me when she was only 17 years old, so it's just really been me and my mom. And then this one, we were making gingerbread house, which we did every year. We really had the opportunity to grow up together. So we've always been more like good friends. And just watching her achieve her dreams really inspired me to go after mine. Having this strong woman in my life, I knew that I could be anything that I wanted to be because I, I had her as an inspiration. West Virginia. We're almost halfway. Number seven. District of Columbia. Hi, 
I'm in the United States Army Reserves. I'm a quartermaster officer and company commander of the 988 Petroleum Detachment Unit. I'm here to give you perspective. I'm a lieutenant, so this is exactly what you're gonna hit as soon as you commission. I joined the military at 17 years old. So I consider it to be a family tradition. The best thing that you can do when you get to your unit at first is listen. When I put on my uniform, it's something that comes over me to know that I represent something so large. I represent a way of life. I think it's, it's amazing. DC, we, we just started the show and I've already said Columbia once. Steve just texted me, I'm already in trouble. Well, there are still eight women left to make our final 15. Which of your favorites are you rooting for? Will Miss 52 USA defy the odds again and make the cut? Or will Texas take another step towards her dream? Find out when Miss USA returns right here live on Fox. I'm about to play Bean Boozled and try to figure out which jelly bean I'm eating. Oh, that one's definitely skunk spray. Oh my gosh. Definitely barf. Not peach. We have peaches in South Carolina. That's not peach. Got coconut. <laughs> uh uh. It's moldy cheese. It's moldy cheese. <laughs> <laughs> to compete for Miss USA is kind of like competing for the Olympics. This has definitely been one of the hardest scenes I've trained for. You only get one shot at it. This is one of the toughest mental games I've ever played. It only takes one girl to beat you. I felt what it's like to win, and there's nothing more that I wanted. We all want it so badly. When you get a big group of people together that are all vying for the same thing, you do get competitive. All these years and all this time and literal blood, sweat, and tears to get to this point. I'm going to go on that stage and I'm just going to own it. All I'm going to be thinking about is I'm taking that crown home. Welcome back to Miss USA. Watch closely because later in the show, you'll be judging live. So start thinking about who your favorite contestants are. So uh, <clears throat> we're not going to dress how you just Walked out the back with the hot pants suit and extra high heels, making me look short. All right? I'm 5'10", in case you're wondering at home. I thought we was coordinating wardrobe changes. Uh, well, I'm, j I'm just trying to get through all my looks. You know, see, I I'm a girl. I, I have a lot of quick changes. How many looks do you have? Like 15 or so. Yeah. <laughs> but don't worry. Don't worry. We will coordinate next time. Don't worry. All right, deal. All right, guys. Right now, it's time to find out who else made the cut. Seven unique and amazing women have impressed the judges and earned themselves a place in the final 15. That means only eight spots are left. The number eight spot goes to... California. My dad is Gerardo Mejia, other known as Rico Suave. Rico Suave. He introduced me to my love for music. It's where I find my grounding, and it is my happy place. I never pictured myself being a model. You're constantly being body shamed, told that you're not good enough, and I let someone else's opinion of me define my self-worth, and I ended up suffering from anorexia. Thankfully, with the support of my parents, I regained my health again, and I'm so grateful. I hope to inspire young girls to really love who they are and to love the skin they're in. California. The next spot in the final 15. Missouri. So game of horse, loser does 10 push-ups. All right, it's on. My dad was my very first coach, and I played basketball my entire life. I loved calling out the plays. Are we in a one-three-one offense? Are we in 
man-to-man -man defense. Back in the game! Um, so athletics has been one of the greatest things that I've done in my life because uh, my dad always taught me that hard work and dedication will ultimately lead to success. Ten. Give me ten. He always wins. <laughs> and that's fair because he's the coach, so it makes sense. Good game. Good game. Missouri! Moving on to the next round. Connecticut. I am a first generation American. Coming here, it's really about achieving the American dream, and that was my parents' plan. They wanted to come here, and they knew that if we worked hard, we would have a great education. I am a registered nurse at Yale New Haven Hospital, and I couldn't see myself in another field or any other career as rewarding as this one. Being the first in my family to graduate from college, but also becoming Miss Connecticut and going to Miss USA, I can't get any more American dream than that. So I think that if there's anything that would make my dad proud is to say, I moved to America for my daughter to have a, an amazing life and live the American dream, and she is Miss USA. I think that that would make him so proud. Connecticut. We only have five spots left. Here we go. I love to play volleyball. I received a Division I full scholarship for five years to go to school in California. I had my mind set on playing professional volleyball. My senior night uh, playing volleyball at Cal Poly ended up tearing my Achilles. Emotionally, I felt like a huge part of me was missing because volleyball was my entire life. I learned to really focus my energy on what I can do as opposed to what I can't do. I realized that I wanted to come home and make a difference to our kids here in Hawaii. Right now, I am a coach and a mentor. I can incorporate athletics, I can incorporate working with kids, and really make an impact in our future. Hawaii! One step closer to her dream. South Dakota. When I'm modeling, it's definitely a break from reality, I would say. I was 13 and it just kind of happened. I've been in Teen Vogue, 17 Prom, and Teen Prom. It's just a fun hobby. I take a portion of those paychecks and I put it aside for the girls in Kenya. I actually traveled to Kenya with my stepdad and we worked with a girls' school called the Traveler's Oasis and we have about 250 girls that attend. I think these girls have taught me a lot. I learned to not stress on the little things living each day just as happy as I can and not taking those little things in and letting them get to me. South Dakota. Only three left. Contestants, don't forget to breathe. The competition continues for... Arkansas! This is my horse, Hot and Dreamy. Uh, dreamy for short, and she's pretty special to me. So I started showing horses when I was really young, and my ultimate dream was to win the world show. I mean, that is the top of the line, that is the biggest show that you can win. And the first year I went to it, I don't even think I made like the top 10, and it was devastating. But on my fourth try, I put absolutely everything into it and won the world show. I think before you win, you definitely need to learn how to lose. I think it teaches you that if you want something, it's not always going to be easy, but it'll definitely be worth it. And so I think everyone needs to fail at a few things before reaching their ultimate goal. Arkansas! She's headed to the finals. Virginia!
somebody had approached me five years ago and said that you'd be in a doctoral program teaching at Hampton University and that you'd be competing to be Miss USA. At that point in time, I couldn't even dream a dream that big. My grandmother was my number one fan, without a doubt. Um, and I competed at another national pageant. I got a phone call saying that she had passed away. And so every time I get on stage now, I sort of can feel that she's still there in the audience cheering for me. She grew up in a time where segregation was real. So everything I do, I know it's bigger than me. I am representing these women and my ancestors that have worked so hard and been through so much, and my goal was to make them proud. Virginia. 38 women are hoping to hear their name, but there's only one spot remaining. The last contestant in the final 15 is... Oklahoma! From cheerleading for the St. Louis Rams, I realized quickly that I wanted to be on the sidelines in a different capacity, and that was with a microphone in my hand and talking about what was happening on the field, not cheering alongside them. And back to you in the studio, Phil. I created a company, Pink Door Productions, and inspired women to go headfirst in the direction of their career and their dreams. Tell me about this, uh, this internship. I'm a one-woman circus. From answering the phone to booking appointments, all of that is done by me. That's certainly a challenge, but it is such a rewarding one when that pays off. Oklahoma! Ladies and gentlemen, your final 15. Congratulations, I know your fans all around the country are going absolutely crazy right now. And if you're watching at home, get your devices ready. Later on in the show, you'll have a chance to cast your vote for your favorite contestant. But don't worry, there's no caucuses or primaries or delegates. We keep things simple here at Miss USA. And now, let's go behind the scenes. Ashley, what is it like backstage right now? You guys, things are buzzing back here. I was literally on the edge of my seat waiting for those names to be called. If I was up there, I probably would have fainted, but these women are owning it. I can't wait to see how they handle the rest of the competition. California, how does it feel to actually be in the final 15? I am so overwhelmed and I am so blessed right now. This is such an incredible experience. and. Oh, let's do this! <laughs> I've got some really exciting news. You were actually voted fan favorite. Well, thank you to everyone out there. I cannot thank you enough. Viva Ecuador. Yeah. And I'm so grateful for all the fan base. Thank you. Thank you, California. You're so beautiful. Now let's get moving onto that swimsuit, honey. Coming up, we'll meet tonight's judges and then the swimsuit competition. Plus, performances by country music sensation Chris Young, Nervo, and the legendary Backstreet Boys. It's all on Miss USA 2016, live. Miss USA 2016. I'm standing here in the makeup area, and this is where the real magic happens. Things may look calm right now, but when the contestants come through here, it gets really hectic. 17 makeup stations, teams of makeup artists, all working to keep our contestants looking great. When this place fills up, Julianne, you don't want to be in the way. Oh, well, thank you so much, Ashley. <laughs> well, now, hang on. Terrence, I thought we talked about this. We were going to coordinate our next wardrobe change. You didn't get my tweet? What are you talking about? Hashtag time to change. At Julianne, uh, I, you didn't get it? I don't have anywhere to put my phone. The next time. We'll coordinate <laughs> it the next time. Okay. I got you. Well, tonight we are celebrating the most confidently beautiful women in the country. And all of you get to be a part of it. This is so cool, man. You at home actually get to vote for your favorite contestants. All the years I grew up watching this show, I never got to vote for anybody. So tonight is your lucky night. We'll give you details about how to do it. But first, let's meet our judges. 
She's won the Miss USA crown and won our hearts through her work in film and television. It's Allie Landry. He's an international author, designer, businessman, and all around fashionista, Josie. Looking fresh over there, Joe. She's one of the country's premier fashion journalists and executive editor of Harper's Bazaar. It's Laura Brown. He's a world-class fashion photographer, formal model, and host of Gentleman's Code on Sirius XM, Nigel Barker. Nigel got the ladies going crazy. Ladies, calm down. She knows what it's like to be on this stage because she's a former Miss USA herself. She currently stars in the hit TV show, Tyler Perry's For Better or Worse. It's Crystal Stewart. Crystal, talk to me. What's it like to be back here at Miss USA? Oh, wow. It's great. It's like a reunion for me, actually. <laughs> you know, I was crowned here in Vegas in 2008, so I'm, I'm happy to see everyone, and I'm happy to be back. Looking good, too. Those earrings. Thank you. Can the camera zoom on those earrings? Get the camera on those earrings. Wow. They're pretty heavy. Don't hurt nobody. Right. Well, you guys have an incredibly tough job to do, which is why I'm really glad I'm hosting and not judging this one. Yeah. And judge number six, is you. That's right. During each round of the competition, you at home are going to evaluate the contestants and help select who will move on. Here's how you do it. To vote, download the Miss You app for iOS or Android. For each round of the competition, you will have 10 votes. Use your votes wisely. Don't forget to lock them in. This is real-time scoring and the voting windows are short. You can also cast votes via vote.missusa.com and via Twitter using hashtag MissUSA and the contestant's specific hashtag that will appear on screen. Take advantage by retweeting. And there you go. Now, I'm going to be honest. You know, as a guy, I thought this pageant was just about beautiful women, but it's so much more than that. I mean, the amount of work that they put into this, it's unbelievable. Can we please give it up for all of the women that have participated tonight? Make some noise for them. I'm really impressed. And that's sincere. That's for real. It's true. Wearing the Miss USA crown comes with great responsibility. For 12 months, she serves as an ambassador for leadership, integrity, and character. And nobody knows that better than Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan. I'm Olivia Jordan, and I am Miss USA. Oklahoma! I knew that I was ready for the job of Miss USA. I had done my homework, so I knew that I could step up to it. Over the past year, I have learned so much, and I've had life experiences that I never even dreamed that I would have. I got to go to Haiti with Smile Train. I was able to lobby for ovarian cancer and for the Alzheimer's Association in Washington, D.C. to see how the sash can get people's attention, to actually be able to interact with people that are changing the world has been so inspiring. And those are people that I wouldn't have met necessarily before this experience. And it's been so fun. <laughs> it's made me want to do even bigger and better things in my future. Are you from New York? Well, this year has definitely changed me. And in some ways, I think I've grown up. But I'm definitely still the same old girl from Oklahoma. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage, Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan. Liv, what has this last year been like for you as Miss USA? You know, I had a dream, and I got to live that dream, and I think that is a really special thing, and <laughs> I've been emotional all month about this. Um, it's been truly incredible, and I feel very grateful. Thank you so much. You know, there is so much more to being Miss USA than I think people realize. Which of your responsibilities was the most rewarding for you? I know I just mentioned it in the video, but lobbying in Washington, D.C. for ovarian cancer and for the Alzheimer's Association was so impactful to me because I saw firsthand something that I've always believed, that one person can make a difference, that using your voice can create positive change. And that's something that has become my message to everyone, to get passionate about something and use your voice for good. 
Thank you so much. Give it up for Olivia Jordan, everyone. Now that we're warmed up, the stakes are about to get higher, and Olivia knows firsthand the intensity of this moment. We'll, we'll narrow the field from 15 to 10. The swimsuit competition is coming up, along with the performance by Nervo. It's Miss USA, right here on Fox. Have you done this before? No. No, 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 no. Blue eyebrows. I've never had blue eyebrows before. This is the first. These are eyelashes on my nose, she said. I'm done. Done? Mm -hmm. Do I look good? Yeah. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I got a heart and a smiley face. <laughs> We started the night with 52 contestants. After the preliminary competition, the top 15 were selected to move on. We've met the contestants, we've met the judges. Now it's time for the next round. Okay, I just gotta say, I love all of these packages showcasing our women. And was that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? It was pretty adorable. Have you ever had your makeup done by like a five-year-old? Not a five-year-old, but I've definitely had some characters <laughs> eat my face. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, <laughs> you guys are all very trusting. Well, welcome back, everyone. The final 15 are backstage and ready. To make it into the coveted final 10, there's one round standing in their way, the swimsuit competition. Yeah, and as a swimsuit designer, I'm really excited to hear that the girls were able to pick their own swimsuits from a designer of nearly 20 options. And I absolutely love that because we all know that every woman's body is different from one swimsuit to the next, so I'm very happy about that too. Yeah, this is a really great chance for them to show off their personal style and express who they really are. Absolutely. And as this year's Sports Illustrated cover model, everybody, come on, let's hear it for Ashley. Thank you. I, I personally want to congratulate you for all the incredible work you're doing to empower women on a global scale. Thank you so much. But honestly, my photo was taken in front of about 12 people, not millions. Well, these ladies are definitely redefining what confidence stands for. And now, for you judges at home, it's time to vote. Either download the Miss You app, log on to vote.missusa.com, or send a tweet with hashtag MissUSA and your contestant's hashtag. Remember, this is live voting, so once the last contestant has left the stage, voting is closed. And now, the swimsuit competition featuring a performance by the Red Hot DJ duo, Nervo! <laughs> South Carolina. South Carolina doesn't like wearing a lot of makeup, and she prefers to look more natural. Ohio. In rehearsals, Ohio said she learned a lot from watching the other contestants make mistakes. She's been competing a long time, so she's an excellent walker. Like 
Georgia. Georgia is one of the best walkers this year. She hasn't needed any extra coaching since the first rehearsal. Arizona! One of the first days of rehearsal, Arizona twisted her ankle and was unable to wear heels for several days. But she's back in her Chinese laundry shoes tonight. Alabama. During rehearsals, Alabama always had a smile on her face. She's been labeled the girl next door of the group. West Virginia! West Virginia wasn't one of the favorites coming in, but wowed the fans and judges with a stellar performance during the preliminary competition on Wednesday night. District of Columbia. District of Columbia's military background has been evident all week, as she's the most disciplined contestant this year. California! California is a model, so she has experience with playing to the camera. You can see it in both her face and that killer walk. Missouri. Sydney represented Missouri at the 2011 Miss Teen USA pageant. So she's no stranger to being on stage in that swimsuit. More than one-third of the women crowned in the past 40 years won boring blue swimming suits. Perhaps that's why Connecticut chose this turquoise halter bikini. Hawaii. Hawaii is somewhat shy compared to the other contestants because she's new to pageants. This is one of the first times that she's ever been on stage. South Dakota! During rehearsals, Madison always was making jokes. But as soon as the runway coach started speaking, her demeanor changed and she got very serious. Arkansas.
swimming suits have definitely changed because in the early years of Miss USA pageant, contestants wore skirted bathing suits that covered the upper part of their thigh. Virginia! Virginia has been the most overall consistent competitor during rehearsals. The other contestants would always stop and watch her whenever she took the stage. Oklahoma. Oklahoma is one of the smaller, more petite contestants, but she stands out thanks to her confident attitude. That completes the Miss USA 2016 swimsuit competition. Our 15 finalists just rocked their best beach looks, but only 10 of them will make it through the next elimination. The judges have some tough decisions to make right now. They're looking for confidence, presentation, personality, and poise. I'm sure each of the finalists are anxious, anxiously replaying their performances in their head right now. Ashley, take us behind the curtain. What's the scene like backstage? Well, if anybody knows, it's me. It takes a lot of confidence to get out there and take that stage in a swimming suit. And I'm so happy that I get to be here as a curvy woman. I mean, pageants now, I'm hoping, are gonna start putting curvy plus size women in front of the camera. Oh, hi, how are you? So how does it feel that you just got off stage? Um, what's going on through your head? You just got out of the swimsuits. I got goosebumps, I'm so excited. Is that because you're cold? No, because it's so exhilarating. <laughs> I have goosebumps because I'm cold. <laughs> okay, so I heard you got to pick your own designer swimsuit. Exactly how did that happen? Well, they had a whole line of 20 out, and we got to go through and pick the style that fit our personalities and our bodies best. Yeah. I like really bold colors, so of course I went with uh, every color in the rainbow. <laughs> well, I think you guys look absolutely gorgeous. Coming up, we'll find out which of your favorites made it to the final 10 right here on Miss USA Live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss USA 2016, live from Las Vegas, home of MGM Grand. I have the swimsuit round results from your home voting. Let's see who is at the top of the leaderboard. Alabama! Remember, that's only one of the six votes. You'll have to wait and see how your votes matched up with the judges. Thank you so much, Ashley. Thank you. Wait, wait a minute, Terrence. Did you change suits again? What? Well, uh, but no, hang on. We, we, we got to get on the same page here. Listen, listen, your swag level was so high, I had to step my game up. You know what? Flattery will get you everywhere. Yeah. Just be happy I didn't put on a Speedo. All right? Now, we're going to move on. Father's Day is right around the corner, and we want to give a big shout out to my dad and all the dads out there. Hi, Papa. I know you're watching. And without your love and support, I would not be here today. And I'm not the only one. It turns out that many of our contestants are total daddy's girls. My dad is probably one of my best friends. I have always been a daddy's girl. My dad was my hero. He was this celebrity 
to me when I grew up. Just really wanted me to chase my dreams and helped me achieve anything that I've ever needed help with. This picture right here was her first acting lesson. He's always been somebody who has shown me that I can accomplish things. <laughs> love you, Daddy. I love you, too. I was busy a lot as you were younger, and I was building the house. And this just shows me, you know, your attitude at the time. You would say, I don't care. I want to be with Dad. It's cold out there. I'm going to go put on whatever two shoes I can find, whatever jacket. <laughs> and it was important for you to be with me. I love you, Dad. Thanks. She always did great things. She would give her all at everything she do. And that's the reason why she's being so successful today. I love you, baby. <laughs> today, I'm going to teach you how to do the pageant wave. And I want you to show me how you would normally wave if you were going to be in pageant. What you got? OK, no, that's all wrong. You need to bend your arm like this. Oh. Get a nice 90 degree angle. 90 degrees, huh? Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. Catch your pearls, blow a kiss. Cup your hands a little bit. <laughs> Together. Elbow, elbow, wrist, no wrist. <laughs> Smile, big teeth. That's actually not bad. I'm really proud of you. Well, thank you, honey. I'm proud of you, too. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to teach you how to walk like Miss USA. All right, I'm taking notes. Your turn. Walk. Take a look. Cross. Yep. Good. Look back at the camera. Wait. Good. Come on back. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love that so much. So sweet. Okay, Terrence, I want to see your best pageant wave. Oh, uh, that was different. Remix. Nailed it, though. Nailed it. We all won. <laughs> all right, guys, time to get serious. Now it's time to reveal our Miss USA final 10. The results were tabulated by our official accounting firm, Ernst & Young. Only 10 of these women will be moving forward in the competition, and we've got the results right here. Virginia. Also advancing. Alabama. Taking the third spot. California. Next in the final 10, Sweet Georgia. Moving to the next round, Connecticut. Number six to advance. Steve Harvey's gonna kill me. District of Columbia. The next to enter the final 10. Missouri! Whew. One, 
step closer to the crown. Arkansas. Ninth to advance. South Dakota. That was contestant number nine of the final 10, which means only one of these six women on stage will earn that last spot. Will it be South Carolina, Ohio, Arizona, West Virginia, Hawaii, or Oklahoma? Find out when Miss USA returns. Show the competition. The final 10 contestants are almost locked in. Only one of these six women is about to advance into the next round. Here we go. With one spot left in the final 10, the woman who still has a chance to become Miss USA is... Hawaii! You earned the last spot in the final 10, and now you're one step closer to the title. Please join the other nine finalists, and we'll see you in the evening gown competition. That was crazy. Now, I, I know the audience was on the edge of their seat. You can feel the intensity here, wondering who would be that final selection throughout the break. Uh, let's talk to the judges. Joe, talk first of all, Joe, you are looking fresh, my man. Oh. Looking good, Joe. What impressed you most about tonight's <laughs> swimsuit competition? Um, you know what it is? I think I have worked and styled so many different celebrities, Julian included, in my career, and seen a lot of dresses on the red carpet. But you know, I think it is always about confidence, poise, strength. It is not about what you're wearing, but the person behind what you're wearing. And I think that is what I'm always looking for. Absolutely. <laughs> well, Allie, you were actually the last woman to win Miss USA wearing a one piece in the swimsuit competition. So a lot has changed. What are some other ways this year's competition is different from when you competed? You know, what I love is that we had these amazing packages of each girl. So we really got to see their personalities and who they were before we saw them on the stage. Like who they really are in their element. And I so appreciate that. Ali, would I win in a one piece? Don't, don't answer that. Don't answer, um, no, don't answer, don't answer that. Uh, Laura, as okay, one no of our comment. style experts here, tell us what you'll be looking for in the evening gown competition. Oh, well, you know, a, a, a good frock uh, takes a girl really far. Uh, but again, you know, it's, a, it's, it's fine to look great in a swimsuit and to look great in a dress, but if you're not smart and accomplished and push women forward, then that's the best look of all. Again, absolutely. Well, thank you so much to all of our judges. There is no question that all of the contestants are beautiful, but it takes a lot more than good looks to carry the Miss USA title, whether it's giving back to their communities, supporting social causes, or pursuing careers in hopes of improving the world around them. These inspirational women are definitely the new face of Confidently Beautiful.
I'm First Lieutenant Deshauna Barber. I'm in the United States Army Reserves. I'm a Quartermaster Officer and Company Commander of the 988th Petroleum Detachment Unit. I am Deputy Chief of Staff for the Mayor of Providence, Rhode Island. I am currently a PhD student in the Nutritional Sciences Program at the University of Washington. I am a registered nurse in the Surgical Trauma Intensive Care Unit at Yale New Haven Hospital. I am the director of the Leadership Institute in a doctoral program teaching at Hampton University. I represent freedom when I put on that uniform and I knew that I wanted to work as a government official. The most rewarding thing about being a nurse is the fact that I know that I have saved someone's life. I grew up in a tough neighborhood, so I wanna make sure that I pay it forward and help other students who come from urban communities. To be successful, you can't be what you can't see. And so other women need to see women achieving success. Pageantry is about empowering women. They're lawyers, they're doctors, they're business owners. And so I think it's so important that we highlight the women that are competing that defy the stereotype because it's most of them. I love it, I love it, I love it. I can't stress it enough that it's so inspiring to see. Ten amazing women still have a chance to become the next Miss USA. Up next, the evening gown competition. And honestly, that's one of my favorite parts of the night where the contestants get to show off all their grace, sophistication, and class. So Ashley, what's going on back there? What up? The contestants are rushing to get out of their swimsuits and into their evening gowns. These dresses are high fashion. Putting them on can be really difficult, especially when the clock is ticking. There's no time for mistakes back here. The evening gown competition is moments away. Things are about to get fancy. Coming up, it's the final 10 in a high fashion face-off and a performance by Chris Young. It's all just ahead on Miss USA 2016, live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss USA 2016. I love that piece. We jumped in the bathtub with our outfits, but they didn't want to show that. Hey, Terrence, you know what? We actually coordinated wardrobe this time. Fine. Go us. High five. High five. <laughs> hey, this section, Snapchat us right now. Put us up. Make, make us hot. All right? We got our Boom. I love it. I love it. Right now, it's time for the evening gown competition to begin. And for all of you at home, you can weigh in with your votes. What I need you to do is download the official Miss You app. Go to vote.missusa.com or send a tweet using the hashtag MissUSA and your contestants' hashtag. Now, the stakes are high for these 10 contestants because only five will move on to the next round. To accompany these beautiful women as they showcase their evening attire, we've got one of the hottest artists in the nation. Please welcome country music sensation, Chris Young! Back around, we we'll break up, we make up, and we make love. We can't seem to let go, girl. So I'm coming over, running every red light to hell with a closure. Leave it for another time. Try not to think about you, but it ain't working. Why put out a fire when it's still burning? Just when I think moving on, getting closer. I'm coming over I'm alone, but you're on my phone Telling me you miss me If you're at home Who knows what we are in the morning All I know is I want you So I'm coming over Running every red light To hell with the closure Save it for another time Think about you, but it ain't working. Why put out a fire when it's still burning? Just when I think moving on, getting closer. I'm coming over. 
Get ready to vote. Here are the final 10 in their most spectacular evening wear. Starting with Virginia. Virginia tried on more than 20 different evening gowns before selecting this red silk jersey gown with just the right amount of sparkle. winners from the past 40 years have worn white and Peyton is hoping that trend continues. California. Orange evening gown. California is hoping to be the first wearing this tangerine A-line gown. Georgia. Remember, during the evening gown competition, the contestants aren't judged on their dresses. It's all about grace and poise of the girl. Connecticut. Connecticut only tried on three evening gowns before selecting this red Sherry Hill dress. She feels the full skirt overlay takes the design to another level. to win Miss USA wearing a gold gown was Crystal Stewart, who's on tonight's judging panel. Missouri. Missouri has on the exact same gown she wore at her state pageant. During the preliminary competition, she wore the same style dress, but in blue. chose to wear a different gown than she had worn during the prelim show Wednesday night. The contestants sometimes prefer not to reveal their favorite gown until the final competition.
South Dakota. South Dakota's gown was made in Lebanon. She was initially whipping the cape as she walked, but our consultant encouraged her to just let it flow. Hawaii's gown is embellished with 3,500 beads and crystals. The idea was to take a vintage-inspired gown and make it modern and fresh. Baby, I can feel your heartbeat, heartbeat, pound of my chest, you in that dress, making it jump like a kid. is over and we're gathering the scores from our judges in the house and our judges at home. We're narrowing it down to five contestants and then Backstreet Boys are gonna light up the stage when Miss USA 2016 returns. to the final round. Before we announce our final five, let's check out the evening gown results from our judges at home. Looks like Alabama got it again. You guys sure do love you some Alabama. I can't wait to see if the judges here agree with all you judges at home. We are live. Thank you so much, Ashley. Guys, are you ready for the final five? Let's do it. Five of these incredible women will take it one step closer to the crown. First in the final five, Georgia. Many have changed my life as well as my family. They've been my number one supporters and always pushed me to be the best person I am. And to give back to them would be just the greatest thing in the world for me. Georgia. Joining her in the final five will be... The audience keeps screaming it, Hawaii! I'm not only representing my beautiful state of Hawaii, but I'm representing my family. These are the people who helped me to become who I am today. Hawaii! Only three spots left. Next up... Sorry, Steve. District of Columbia. Walking to Miss USA stage is something I have dreamed of since I was 19 years old and first started competing in pageants. And I'm still in disbelief that I finally get to chase that dream. District of Columbia. Still in the running. Sweet home Alabama. 
to bring that title back to Alabama, it would be amazing. It hasn't been here in a while, so to represent my state well and then to win would just be incredible. Alabama. One spot left. The last contestant to make it to the final five is... West Side, California! I'm so excited to represent California. I think the beauty of Miss USA is to show you can be beautiful, but inside is really what counts. California. Please give it up for your final five, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to them and to all of you for making it this far. Julianne, can you believe we started out with 52, now we're down to five. This is crazy. I, I can't believe it, Terrence. This is crazy. And by the way, how are you guys feeling out here in the audience? Woo! I'm telling you, you guys can breathe now. We have our top five. Well, this is an exciting moment, Terrence. What a night. I am here with the judges who just had to make some seriously tough decisions. Nigel, what should the last five contestants be focusing on as they head into their final round? Well, I think there's nothing more attractive than obviously a confident woman, but obviously intelligence really helps that confidence. And as a photographer, I'm looking into their eyes and you can see so much. And I'm looking forward to photographing the winner. So I'm hoping she's, you know, someone who is intelligent and, you know, and empowered. That's what I'm looking for. Absolutely. Well, coming up, five becomes three when the contestants face the judges in the question round. Who will make the cut? Will it be Georgia? Hawaii? District of Columbia? Alabama? Or California? And later, Backstreet Boys take the stage when Miss USA continues right here, live on Fox. Welcome back to Miss USA 2016, coming to you live from Las Vegas at T-Mobile Arena. Remember, if you're at home watching, you still have the chance to vote for your top picks on the Miss You app and on Twitter. Now, our own Olivia Jordan hit the streets to see if Las Vegas locals could handle the pressure for competing on Miss USA. Hi, I'm Olivia Jordan, Miss USA 2015, and I am here in Las Vegas outside T-Mobile Arena to find out if answering the final question at Miss USA is as easy as it looks. Are you ready for some difficult questions? Sure. <laughs> A recent story in the New York Times said that narcissism is an epidemic. Do you agree? Why or why not? Um. Um. Oh, yeah, it definitely is an academic. There's just too much of it going around. Yes. In 40% of American families with children, women are the primary earners. Yet they continue to earn less than men. What does this say about society? It's a tough question. Uh, honest to God, it says that society is a little flawed. Everything should be equal. Would you feel it would be fair that a transgender woman wins the Miss USA title over a natural-born woman? Ooh, that's a tricky question there. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> really, that would just be up to the voters, and so I, I wouldn't really have a, much of a say. Stay neutral. Yeah, exa exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah. Thank you so much. Wait, you got to have oh, your crowning perfect. moment. Perfect. Oh. This is funny, because I'm actually Colombian. So uh, yeah, what? What? yeah, I know. <laughs> See? It's a lot harder than it looks. Now, I saw a lot of smiles in the audience for the swimsuit and the evening gown rounds. But right now, things are about to get intense. Our five finalists are going to face the judges in the question round. All right, so now imagine standing in front of the world stage and receiving a question with no preparation whatsoever. Every word counts. This will decide whether they make it to the final three or if their journey ends here. Now, the contestants will be hearing the question for the very first time, and they'll have 30 seconds to answer. When the time is up, they'll all hear this sound. And for our judges at home, make sure you have your devices handy and get ready to score your favorite answers live. During the commercial break, we randomly picked an order, and Alabama 
We'll tackle the first question. Alabama, please come join us to the center stage and receive your question from judge number one, Allie Landry. Hi. Hi, girls. I just first want to tell all of you, just take a deep breath and let the nerves go, right? And we just want, we're rooting for you, do you, and because this is your moment right here, okay? So let's do this. All right. So here we go. Legendary boxer Muhammad Ali passed away Friday night at the age of 74. What should be remembered most about his legacy? I think that Muhammad Ali was obviously amazing at what he did. Um, I just think that we should remember, you know, to, to go for success and do, you know, what you can to be on top. I think he lived by that and he was so successful in his sport. And yeah, never give up, reach your dreams. Thank you, Alabama. District of Columbia, please come join our center stage. For District of Columbia, judge number two, Josie, has your question. I do. Um, I have a question that is maybe a little bit personal and close to your heart. The Pentagon recently made the decision to open up all combat jobs to women. Now, some have questioned, yes, great, right? Now, some have questioned whether this has put political correctness over our military's ability to perform at the highest level. What are your thoughts? As a woman in the United States Army, I think it was an amazing job by our government to allow women to integrate into every branch of the military. We are just as tough as men. As a commander, as a commander of my unit, I'm powerful. I am dedicated and it is important that we recognize that gender does not limit us in the United States Army. Thank you, District of Columbia. Georgia, please come join us center stage. For Georgia, judge number five, Crystal Stewart has your question. Hello, Miss Georgia. How are you tonight? Very well. Yeah, you? a little nervous? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to it. Over the last four years, 17 states have passed stringent voting laws. Many civil rights leaders believe we are making it too difficult for people to vote. What do you think? Um, I think it goes back to education. I think that we need to start with the youth and teach them how important voting is. I think that if we um, teach them how important it is and we put that in our school systems, then it will be a lot easier for people to understand how difficult voting can be. And then we can educate everybody on that. Thank you. Thank you, Georgia. California, please come join us center stage. For California, judge number four, Nigel Barker, has your question. Hi there, good evening. Now, one of the biggest challenges facing the United States is social and economic inequality. How do we narrow the gap between the rich and the poor? When it comes to social and economic equality, I think that the rich and the poor need to stop being so segregated. I think there is a middle class. I think that the rich need to... Take a breath. I think that the rich need to be able to be giving, and I think the poor need to work hard, and I think the middle class need to come together and find an in-between. Thank you. Thank you so much, California. On a tough question. Hawaii, please come center stage. For Hawaii, our last remaining finalist, Laura Brown. Judge number three has your question. Whoa, whoa I can't hear over these people. Miss Hawaii, hello. Okay, with Hillary Clinton expected to surpass the delegate count needed to win the Democratic Party nomination, my question to you is, if the election were held tomorrow, would you vote Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump for president? And why would you choose one over the other? I would get that, right? 
all I have to say, it doesn't matter what gender. What we need in the United States is someone who represents who, those of us who don't feel like we have a voice, those of us who want our voices heard. We need a president to push for what is right and push for what America really needs. Thank you. Thank you so much, Hawaii. Nice, nice. Thank you to all five of our finalists. That was intense, okay? If, that, if those questions came at me, I don't know if I could have sidestepped them like that. Great work to all of our women. To be on the spot like that with the whole country watching, that takes a lot of guts. But now it's all in the hands of the judges, both here and at home. When we return, our final three will be revealed. And then they get to be serenaded in their final look by the one and only Backstreet Boys when Miss USA 2016 continues live on Fox. It's been an incredible night so far. We started with 52 confidently beautiful women who quickly became 15. Then the contestants strutted their stuff in the swimsuit competition, and 15 turned into 10. Then the contestants wore evening gowns and showed off their elegant side. Votes from viewers at home have been pouring in all night. Five women are still in the game. They're just moments away from another elimination. By the end of the night, one amazing woman will still wear the sparkling and ruby encrusted Miss USA crown. You guys at home may not be contestants, but you still have a chance to wear the crown. Go to the Miss U app and tap play, then crown yourself. Julianne and Terrence, you guys are looking pretty hot. Ashley! <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Well, we are here with our final five who have all made such a big impression on our judges. Georgia, Hawaii, DC, Alabama, and California. Congratulations to all of you. But unfortunately, this is a competition, so only three of you can move forward. I have the results right here in my hands. These are the final three. The first contestant with a chance to become Miss USA. Georgia. The next woman who could wear the crown. Hawaii! Only one spot left. The final contestant in the final three is... District of Columbia! Congratulations to our final three. Only one of these three amazing women will get to call herself Miss USA. But to get there, they have to face one more challenge. Stay tuned to see who will win the crown. It's Miss USA right here, live on Fox. Shining from the sidelines. Welcome back to Miss USA 2016, live from Las Vegas at T-Mobile Arena. Oh my goodness, I am still thinking about those interview questions. Yeah, and by the way, uh... The, the questions were picked by Miss USA. The organization selected those questions. They put them together. So if you're on Twitter, the judges did not come up with those questions, all right? Just so that you know. All right? Hey, don't be booing, all right? They were randomly picked. And, and actually, I got I to gotta say, 
She answered the question. I know what y'all are doing. She answered the question marvelously. I, I think everybody. She did a fantastic I job. think everybody answered the question marvelously. Uh, actually, because if they would have asked me that question, I would have choked up. She sidestepped it. So <laughs> I, I thought it was an amazing job. Congratulations to all of them. Well, we started with 52 outstanding women, and now it's down to the final three. You've been working towards this moment for a very long time. By the end of the night, one of you will wear the crown. But first, the final challenge. We're giving each of you the chance to have the final word. We'll ask you each the very same question, and you'll have 60 seconds to respond. Now remember, at this point in the competition, the judging panel has gotten a lot bigger. Not only are the judges and the fans voting on your answers, but now your fellow contestants are also weighing in. Which I absolutely love, because you know what? It's women supporting women. 49 women who know you well. Now they've spent every waking hour with them for the past two weeks, and now their votes will help determine the winner. Once again, one minute to complete your answer. Time is up when you hear this sound. Now, let's bring out the soundproof headphones so that the contestants will be unable to hear each other's answers. Here we go. The last challenge of the entire competition. The title is on the line. It's time for the final word. Hawaii and District of Columbia, headphones on. Georgia, please step forward. Are you ready? Here it is. Define confidently beautiful. I know that very well. I use that on Instagram all the time. But confidently beautiful means knowing who you are, loving yourself for who you are, loving yourself no matter what your flaws are, because your flaws are what make you beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. I see your dad out there. He's a capital man, giving you a lot of love. Thank you so much, Georgia. Uh, please take the headphones off for Hawaii. Hawaii, define confidently beautiful. Great question, thank you. Confidently beautiful is someone who's not just beautiful on the outside, it's someone who serves, someone who helps, and someone who cares for everybody, whether the homeless, the helpless, making other people feel loved and feel important, humbling yourself is what's important. And I think that is the type of beauty that will last a lifetime, thank you. Thank you, Hawaii. Please take the headphones off for District of Columbia. District of Columbia, please step forward. Define confidently beautiful. To me, confidently beautiful means understanding that it's not always about your parents. It's not always about who you're around and how they feel you look, where they feel you come from, or your economic background. Serving in the military has taught me that being confidently beautiful is about being able to earn respect from people regardless of what you look like. As a woman in the military, people associate beauty with weakness, and they learn very quickly and I'm extremely strong, and although I'm small, I'm powerful, and confidently beautiful is being myself and being very happy with who I've become. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, finalists. And everyone else, we will see you later. It's time to go backstage and vote. Finalists, the three of you have made it all the way to this point. It's amazing what you have accomplished, so you should all be very, very proud of yourselves. Let's check in with Ashley backstage. Thanks, guys. I gotta say, the excitement here is at an all-time high. 49 contestants are headed back here to vote for the next Miss USA. These women know a lot about the final three, so things could get very interesting with the final look. Just ahead, everything is on the line. It's been an incredible night getting to see how all the energy backstage translates to the drama on stage. I can't wait to see what happens next. Thank you so much, Ashley. 
Round after round, our three finalists have stood above the rest. And now, their fates are in the hand of the judges, the fans, and the other contestants. When we come back, our final three hit the stage for their final look as Backstreet Boys crank it up. It's Miss USA 2016, live on Fox. My fire, the one desire, believe when I say I want it that way. unbelievable night so far. Every contestant in this competition has performed with grace and elegance, and we have narrowed it down to just three outstanding women. And I just need to say something right now. In our world today, in our society, it is absolutely incredible the three women that are standing up here today and how diverse they are. And the answers that they just gave in their final word were outstanding. You took the words right out of my mouth. Give it up for our three finalists. I love, 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 love it. But only one of them will become the next Miss USA. They lit up the stage all night, and now it's time for their final look. So still get your votes ready, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, here again, your final three, this time.
guitar Believe when I say You sing I want it that way Girl, we are two worlds in fire I can't freeze to your heart When you say that I want it that way Tell me why it ain't nothing but a party Say, tell me why it ain't nothing but a mistake Oh, yeah Tell me why I'd never want to hear you say I want it that way And I Your fire On air Deep The one desire, Miss USA. You Thank you. Backstreet Boys, I love you guys. I want it that way all the time. 49 contestants are still backstage voting for their favorites from the final three. And you at home have weighed in with millions of votes online. So soon we will have a new Miss USA. Now one of these women is just moments away from becoming the next Miss USA. Her life is going to change forever. After the break, one woman dons the crown. It's Miss USA live on Fox. Wardrobe. We did not plan this at all. Same so, outfit. Same outfit. <laughs> Once again, I have bags and my bags and my bags. That's just how I roll. This is where all the glam happens. It's our oasis away from home. What exactly are you doing? I'm doing my makeup. Who sits on the counter and does their makeup? And your feet are in the sink. That's where I brush my teeth. I am known to have these leopard blue pajamas. This was the weirdest thing that I packed for Miss USA. <laughs> this is my lucky teddy bear. Here's my sun hat I brought. I have literally had this blankie since I was a baby. I found out that we're actually the same person. Every Bro, single please. way. <laughs> Best roomies ever. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> In 2015, Olivia Jordan made her lifelong dream come true when she became Miss USA. For the past year, she has represented everything the title stands for. Charity, leadership, and integrity. Ladies and gentlemen, from Tulsa, Oklahoma, Miss USA 2015, Olivia Jordan. I am so grateful to have represented my home state as Oklahoma's first ever Miss USA. 
Mom, Dad, and Allie, thank you for making this year everything that it was and for reminding me that when the future was out of my control, que sera, sera. Thank you, Van Bros, Kristen, Marquise, and my dear family and friends. To the fans, I am forever grateful to each of you. To the one that takes my place, show women everywhere how to use your voice to make a difference. Know that Emily is an angel that will get you through the hard times. Take care of Pia and Catherine. You are so lucky to have them as your sisters. Thank you, WME, IMG, MUO, and especially Paula for the remarkable opportunity to spread this message to millions. Be you, believe in yourself, and follow your wildest dreams. You've done an incredible job, and tonight you'll pass the crown to another extraordinary woman. Thank you, Olivia. 52 outstanding women took the stage tonight, and now these final three remain. After all their hard work, it comes down to this moment, the moment of truth. Tal Goldhammer from the accounting firm of Ernst & Young has tallied the votes. Thank you. I will now read the final results. <clears throat> I mean, unless you want to read it. Like, honestly, you can read it. Oh, no, no, no. There's no chance I'm doing that. You know, I don't mind. You should take the call. Honestly, you should do it. <clears throat> Okay, the second runner-up for Miss USA 2016 is... Georgia! Congratulations, Georgia! Hawaii and District of Columbia, please join us down here. Now, one of you is about to become our new Miss USA. And if for any reason Miss USA is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner-up will take her place. Good luck to you both. All the hard work, all the determination, every round of competition, every step. It's all led to this. Miss USA 2016 is... District of Columbia! District of Columbia, take your first walk as Miss USA.
see that phenomenal sister win. That was amazing. Tonight was incredible. So much fun. Thank you to all of our contestants, our judges, and to all our fans at home. And a huge congratulations to the new Miss USA 2016. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.